In this video, let's go over all the new mobile filmmaking updates in Filmic Pro. All right, real quick, you're watching Video Brand. Special thanks to our sponsors for helping make this NAB coverage possible. We got Metricool, Massive, OpenReel, Vestigit, and Adspective. All right, now back to the video. What's up? I'm here with Luke from Filmic, and we're going to talk about some iPhone filming. We got version 7 that came out a few months ago, so kind of walk me through all the updates and sure. what's been new. Yeah, we've added a bunch of stuff uh, to V7, obviously the new interface. Um, as you can see, we've got uh, some tools in here that make it much easier and more uh, just agile to work through the app, change your settings. So um, top of the screen now, if you can pull this down, we have what's called an action info slider. It gives you info about your capture configuration. And then tapping on any of these areas will like bring up these, what we call a quick action modals. And um, these will let you just kind of quickly get in there and make settings changes. And there's more kind of info and just ways to do this too. For example, here's our uh, shutter settings and we now show shutter angles for people who care about that stuff. It's really easy to set that up and intuitive. You don't have to think about it and go um, change those things individually. So um, that's you know one of the cool things we've added in V7. Um, also, you can kind of see going on right here on the screen. Um, there's Touches are being shown on the screen. We had this functionality for educators working in schools and things who are teaching classes so they can students can follow along, see what the teacher's doing, instructor is doing. Um, so that's really cool. What we're um, really excited to be debuting at NAB this year is we actually uh, have coming uh, in the next few weeks, we will be um, releasing an update that will allow users to import LUTs into Filmic Pro, preview those, and also bring those into their footage. A cool thing kind of that's happened uh, just around the same time as that is uh, Cinematch is released uh, profiles for Filmic Pro's log curve. And so you can now go in Cinematch and create uh, LUTs that will help you match your filmic footage to another camera you might be shooting on, on set. So if you're shooting on set with uh, you know, our RE cameras or Blackmagic cameras, then you want to use uh, you know, Filmic Pro as like a, a B cam, um, backup cam, whatever. You can set that up now and make a LUT in Cinematch and load that into Filmic Pro that's going to output the color science of those different cameras so that they match and work seamlessly in your NLE when you're doing um, color grading work after the fact. And um, also, uh, Film Convert has uh, added profiles for the iPhone um, for the filmic log curve as well. So right now we're looking at just like a film emulation that I was made a LUT for um, in Film Convert. And this is uh, just showing a few of the different um, film emulations that you can now load these LUTs in and, and preview them in Filmic Pro while you're shooting. Super helpful so you set your exposure and things correctly for footage that you know you're gonna grade uh, with a certain LUT after the fact, so yeah. Uh, cool. With that um, uh, LUT upgrade that's coming, so is that uh, you can load in your own LUTs and you have the option like you can use it as a preview but still record in log or like bake it in? Is it, you exactly. have that up? Yeah, the, the options here. So we uh, in our LUT menu here, um, it's just at the top here. You can burn in or preview only. Um, you have a list of LUTs right there where you load them in and you can give them nicknames for short for quick reference in the in the phone and stuff like that. So yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, kind of had some questions sort of like overall uh, filmic and the space it fits in. So like super high control over like recording high quality video with the iPhone um, with like Apple's updates been adding other pro features to like their basic video app you know like ProRes filming and stuff so kind of want to get your view of like where Filmic still like fits in and excels in recording on your iPhone and like versus just using the regular uh, camera app. Yeah, obviously the, the native camera app looks great, but it doesn't have any of the like manual control that you can get in with Filmic Pro um, in terms of like so setting things very specifically, uh, you, you know, exposure, you can do manual exposure, you can do basically everything manual focus, right? But um, shutter speed and um, being able to lock that to shutter angles, that's just not like how the native camera thinks. This is set up to work and work in the workflow of a cinema camera. So um, the tools in here are just really geared towards those people who really want very high control over their camera and just let you do things you just can't do in the native camera. So. And then one thing that I've also really always liked about Filmic was the ability where you have the remote app and you could kind of use a separate device as your monitor, your control device. Um, I believe right now it's still a separate app since it switched to subscription, yes, but absolutely. is it going to roll into the... Yeah, we, we very much have plans for remote. Um, we're making sure we do it right, so it's in the works right now. There will be a significant update to remote coming in the near future. It's not ready yet, but uh, it's definitely something we care about, and we're going to make sure uh, to bring a much better remote experience in the near future for our users, so, yeah. And then would that be sort of just whatever, one Filmic app, like, could either be the, the, the 
main camera or the remote camera? Yeah, our plan is to integrate the remote functionality into Filmic Pro itself. So it's going to be almost like a new mode of Filmic Pro rather than its own separate application. So um, that's still in the works and the feature set is still being designed, but um, that's more the vision of where we want to head that, making Filmic Pro more of a self-contained production suite for um, you know film use. So yeah. And another thing, I know you've got the uh, Frame.io camera to cloud integration. Uh, do you see kind of a future of like more integration? Like because right now that's transferring the proxies, but then you still got to get your original footage off the phone. Yes. You feel like there's like some cloud workflow where it's like you're getting your original footage yeah, off in the cloud. It's totally possible. When we did our initial integration with Frame.io, um, you know, we really put a lot of time and effort into the performance testing to make sure that what we do is incredibly stable and out in the, out in the field. So um, we started with the proxy stuff. That's definitely something that we'd consider doing in the future. We've been focusing on other things at the moment, but uh, it's a camera to cloud is something we see has a lot of you know potential in the future of mobile filmmaking, and uh, we'll definitely be looking into making changes and updates to that in the future too. Cool, well thanks so much. Absolutely. All right, thanks for watching the video. For more of our NAB videos, be sure to check out our playlist right here, and be sure to hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next episode.